problem of the day partition a linked list around a given value given a linked list and a value x partition it says that all nodes less than x comes first then all nodes with value equal to x and finally nodes with given with value greater than or equal to x the original or relative order of the nodes in each of the three partition should be preserved the partition must work in place okay so we are having a linked list 1 points to 4 points to 3 points to 2 points to 5 points to 2 points to 3 and we are having a value x is equal to 3 so what the question says means are uh, uh, we need to re rearrange or partition the linked list such a in such a way that all the elements that are less than x must appear to the left uh, of the place where we will be putting our x uh, so Uh, uh to the left of that uh, x we must need uh, smaller values than x uh, which do not change its relative order and all the values on to the right will be larger than the given values of x such that their relative order is not changed so that's uh, what we we need to do so uh, here 1 4 3 2 1 4 3 2 One, four, three, two, three, two, five, two, three. Okay, five, two, three. Okay, so here, what are the things that we need to um, track? Like we need to track the values which is less than x. Okay, we need to track the nodes that are equal to x and the other nodes that are larger than x. So by idea you know to tackle this problem is we can create three separate linked list one to track the smaller values less than x okay one for equal which is equal to x and the other uh, larger which is greater than x so initially while creating like i am creating this linked list with a default value some dumb, dummy value minus 1 okay now i just traverse i'm just traversing through the given linked list uh, so 3 is my x value so our my x is 3 so 1 1 is less than 3 so it is uh, it belongs to smaller linked list so this will be 3 now we move to 4 4 is greater than 3 so it must move to the larger linked list so we have 4 here so why doing this like we are also keeping the relative order okay so this will be more convenient uh, because we also need to uh, keep track of the uh, uh, ordering we also need to uh, consolidate all the ordering so now we have 3 and this 3 is equal to 3 so this will be belonging to the equal linked list now we have 2 and this 2 is less than 3 so it must be belonging to the smaller linked list now we have 5 and this 5 is greater than 3 so it must belongs to the larger linked list now we have 2 and uh, so this is 1 okay so uh, it is smaller than 3 so 2 must belongs to the smaller linked list now we have 3 and this 3 is equal okay so now we got it so we will be also having a moving uh, some pointers which uh while uh, putting the values into each of this linked list and at the end uh the last pointer for the smaller will be pointing to here the equal pointer will be pointing to here okay and the larger pointer will be pointing to here now the next the next of this smaller pointer will be here we need to move it to here so it will be let's say the pointer dot next is equal to Uh, let me do the writing okay so it will be like smaller so if say there is a pointer p p1 p1 dot next will be equal to equal dot next only if equal dot next is not equal to null so if equal dot next is not equal to null then we will be pointing uh, p1 dot next is equal to 
equal dot next otherwise we will be just pointing it to uh, larger dot next no matter whether it is null or not like we will be pointing to l dot next so this must be maintained there can be some cases where there will not be any values for this equal suppose uh, we were looking for some x is equal to 10 so uh, it's uh, some other case uh, and there is no 10 in our linked list so our, our equal will be null there will be no values after this minus one this values will not be there so this will be uh, this will hit this condition so our p1 dot next uh, like p1 means this point okay it will be more pointing to this one now if there is element okay we uh, points to here now this will be pointing to here so at that case like we don't want to uh, check for that null condition because uh, we can handle that but otherwise for this one we need to separately check so that's it that's it so uh, we can do if node is equal to equal to null uh, return null now as told uh, we can have three uh, this one let me try to make it larger okay so node smaller is equal to a uh, new node of minus one some default value node equal is equal to new node of minus one another equal one node larger equal to new node of minus one so all values are set now we need some pointers which are pointing to all these linked lists because uh, we need to add the values into separate linked lists so we can't move these smaller a la equal larger we can make use of a, another dummy point which is which keeps on moving through the separate link list so we need a smaller point which uh, points to the smaller link list we need a equal point which is at equal link list and a larger point which is at larger perfect now we also need to go through this uh, given input node so let's also have a current pointer which which uh, is pointing to the node so while our current pointer is not equal to null now we are just traversing through the given link list because we need to check those nodes values all the nodes values and you and need to uh, find which are the nodes values that will belong to the smaller one that will belong to the equal one that uh, belongs to the larger one so we are just traversing it so if uh, the current let's say the current value is equal to current pointer dot data okay so if our current value is less than x that means is less than x okay then it will be uh, belongs to the smaller one so smaller dot max is equal to new node of current value and move the smaller point so it's not smaller it's smaller point okay smaller pointer is equal to smaller pointer dot next else if if the current value is larger if the current value is greater than x then it must belongs to the larger Link list so larger so larger let me make it small itself so larger pointer dot next is equal to new node of current value and a larger pointer equal to larger pointer dot next else the value is equal so it must belongs to the equal link list so equal pointer dot next is equal to new node of uh, current value and equal pointer equal to equal pointer dot next now uh, what's the other thing that we have to do now we have to now we have our smaller pointer here our equal pointer here our larger pointer here okay now this smaller pointer dot next must move to equal dot next it's not equal pointer it's equal dot next if 
equal dot next is not equal to that so so our smaller pointer dot next will be moving if our equal dot next is not equal to null then it will be moving to equal dot next otherwise it will be moving to larger dot next okay now equal pointer dot next must point to larger dot next now let's have node is equal to null and our node now must point to smaller dot next now after pointing to after pointing our we make node is equal to null okay we have a null and we are just pointing this to smaller dot next which all have these values so we will be getting the final result by just returning this node so uh, for uh, time complexity here we are just going through the given input array and just finding uh, the values which are less than x greater than x equal to x so uh, the time complexity will be big of uh, number of nodes present in the given input linked list and for space complexity like we are like uh, creating separate uh, separate parts and while uh, merging all these parts we will be getting the uh, whole linked list itself so the time com space complexity will be also big of number of nodes so let's uh, compile it uh, okay i missed one case this will be tle yeah because i am not mo mo uh, moving my current pointer it's a very common mistake that i always make yes we mistake but serious mistake now okay one two two three three four five now i have a case where i am not having the x value so here x is equal to seven so i i will be having the smaller ones which will be five five four one and i will be having the larger one eight eight but i will not be having the equal one so the answer here will be five five four one eight eight and it needs to be like that so if uh, here we are uh, mainly handling that part uh, there will not be any equal value the equal do, uh, the equal linked list will be like minus one the equal linked list will be like minus one and null so if it is uh, like if we uh, go through the same logic without checking this null condition like we will we will only get five five four one which is wrong so we need to go through that okay we get 5541 because our next pointer will be pointing to this null and if we get null then it's over and then there is no uh, point in uh, all this statement after that okay now submit okay so that's a uh, problem of the day partition a linked list around a given value